if I look at what happens to high profile female footballers, high profile coloured footballers, and the abuse they take on social media, not from the crowds, because you know, you, you get misbehaviour in crowds, but largely people have bought a season ticket, they're going to behave because they will be banned for life if they give giving racist or homophobic abuse. But social media is a free for all. Mr. Clark, I mean, diversity is not really the issue, is it? Football is diverse. It's inclusion that's the issue. And when you said something earlier on, I think I heard you refer to coloured people earlier on. Isn't, if, if that's the case, uh, would you want to withdraw that language? Because isn't that exactly the sort of language that means that inclusion is not a reality, even though football is very diverse and has many people within it from ethnic minority backgrounds and also people who are gay? Let me say three things. Firstly, if I well, what about that one thing? Are, are you, are, if you did say that, no. would you, would you be? I'm, I'm, I'm that, that only takes to... one thing. It doesn't require three things, really. Well, well, uh, if you, if you please allow me to respond. One, if I said it, I deeply apologise for it. Secondly, I am a product of having worked overseas. I worked in the USA for many years where I was required to use the term people of colour and sometimes, because that was the product of their diversity legislation and positive discrimination format, sometimes I trip over my words. And I All do right, Mr. Clark, you've, 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 you've apologised. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Clark. Heather Wiener.